What supports and resources do learners need? To help your students achieve the course learning outcomes and set them up for success, a good amount of preparation is necessary. This may include detailed information about the project or tasks the student will take on and expectations of both the instructor and or any community partners or employer involved. Skills and or competencies students may be required to demonstrate and any additional training necessary for success should also be identified. You will also want to have a solid understanding of institutional policies and procedures. This is important, particularly with work-integrated and community-engaged learning experiences as the workplace or community environment and or organization may have expectations, clients or tasks that require preparation beyond in-class theoretical knowledge. Over the course of the term, they will also be not only meeting our internship facilitator one-on-one -on -one for individualized coaching around resume writing cover letters, but we also have a suite of workshops that involve prepping the individual for a professional experience. It was important to prepare students for um, the potential that they wouldn't feel comfortable in every situation and uh, also to help them think about the ways that their presence was having an effect on the people that they were interacting with, um, especially if there was uh, a any, any situation with differentials of, of privilege. So the co-op process, is, as much as it's exciting, it's also very intimidating and scary. Um, and we sort of coach them through what sometimes I refer to as Life 101. Um, so it's not just the job search process, but how are you going to get to work every day? Where are you going to live? How does this all come together? Um, so they're usually pretty, pretty intimidated that first job search, but once they are able to obtain that first co-op work term, it makes second co-op and third co-op if they're in a three-year program that much more easier and it's almost like the light bulbs have gone, gone off in their head. In terms of managing the relationship, I think that touch points are really quite key. I, I talk to my students weekly about their projects and I know what they're doing and if I foresee some kind of gap or something that's going on, it's an email or a phone meeting or an in-person meeting to really clarify what's going on and how we can either change the direction or make the, the relationship better within the project. The students also have to submit a monthly report which basically says this is what I did this month, this is what I'm going to do next month and here's some of the issues I'm having or the challenges that I need to address with you, Madeline. And so we uh, will sit down and look at those and uh, figure out where, what our next steps need to be to make sure that the relationship still works. But we always kind of huddle up and have a little bit of a, you know, that was awesome. Like, and it, it's really just every event, the students are so pumped. They're kind of leaving that, they're clapping and cheering, and they're just kind of so proud of the opportunity they had to promote their beer. So it wasn't even the fact that the event went well, you know, because there always are little hiccups. They're proud of the event. They're proud of kind of their decor and their setup and how things go. But at the end of the day, they're most proud that they have made this beer. They promote it to industry people. They've showed it off to their family and friends and they've made connections kind of for themselves going into the future. 